what is up you guys i am back with another video i told you guys that i was going to be coming up with this video about me setting up my binders for nursing school so i'm going to just take you through my entire process i'm going to take you through the setup of my mega binder and my clinical binder so if you guys like this kind of content please hit that like button if you like my channel and subscribe if you have not subscribed already it really does help my small channel with the algorithm now what we have here this is my daily binder here it is my favorite one of the three and it's got this band here to keep it shut it's got clipboard on the top i'm like oh my goodness i got this on amazon i'll link it down below if you guys want it but it's super cute and i really like the colors all right so we're gonna open this up i have not done anything on the sides yet for my dividers but i'm gonna be doing that right now i'm only taking two classes this semester so the only two that i'm going the only two stickers i'm going to put here are med surge and health promotion which is my other class so not too many dividers will be utilized this semester which is totally fine and that is that for the dividers exciting right guys so now what i got here this is my syllabus so this is kind of what it looks like this is the point breakdown system of how many points i need to pass all the exams all the assignments etc and then i got my ati breakdown which we don't know what ati is oh my goodness we'll save that for another video but this is my calendar this is where all the nitty gritty stuff is happening which pretty much tells me what i have to do every single week so what we're going to do now is i am just going to hole punch this and stick it right here. These are all the cute covers that I've decided to utilize this semester. I made them myself. If you guys are interested in these, let me know. I can link them down below in like a PDF or something for you guys. Cause I got four binders that I'm gonna be utilizing. So four covers. Now what we're gonna be doing is I said, I'm not gonna be using a cover because I can't, but what I'm going to do for this one actually is to hole punch this one and just stick it in the front of everything so that when I open it up, there is still a cute cover. And voila, how cute is that guys? I like, I really like rainbows. I know I'm kind of a nerd, but look at that. I am in love with this already. So daily binder is done, moving on. This one is just a basic little one inch binder. I'm gonna be using this one for lab because I don't think I'm gonna be having too much paperwork in there. So we're gonna stick we're gonna stick my lab cover right in here. Another rainbow. Uh I like I just love the boho rainbow style though guys. Now I just got some dividers. I'm gonna open these up and stick them in here. I'm not really gonna put any tabs on them because I really don't know how I wanna divide this one up yet, so but dividers keep everything sane and I like dividing it up either by like unit or week that we're on so I know I will utilize these in some kind of way oh, so we're just gonna stick these right in here all right this one's done I actually utilized this from last semester this was my daily binder from last semester so all I did was empty it out and use it again because I don't see the point in buying more binders if I don't have to. Now this bad boy, this two inch binder is going to be the mega binder. And if you're curious why I have a mega or a daily binder, I will explain. Um, you see, in my daily binder, I only carry around the notes that I have to have in the binder for every exam that I'm currently studying for. Once that exam is over, those notes get moved from the daily binder into my mega binder. So that is the whole point of my kind of like organization system. And I'm assuming since health promotion is going to be online, that mostly I'm gonna be utilizing this binder for med surge content. So I probably will utilize the divider names in here. I usually tab these by exam. So I put them, I divide them up that way. So that way in the future, I look back, I can see which unit is which. Mega binder is done. Oh, this is my clinical binder. This is the one that goes to clinical with me. It's strictly for clinical. I had these tabs last time by week. So I think I'm gonna stick with that. I think these tabs are still good, but 
I know they're more than five weeks this time, so I'm just gonna put some more tabs in here. For those that are curious, I only had five weeks last semester because I was in mental health, and the mental health clinical was only five weeks. Very, very simple, but med surge is a whole other story. I'm going to clinical every week through the whole semester, so it's gonna be a lot of paperwork. Last thing we're going to be doing is, I don't want to use this cover, I used it last semester. I printed out a whole different one, so I'm going to pull this out, stick my new one in. Med Surge is done. Check out, and on the back I have this cute little quote I love so much. If you guys really like this, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help my channel with the algorithm, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys! Oh,